Wow. Yo, I, I do not own the rights to that. Let me get that out the way. Um, that is the trailer to this new Whitney Houston movie um, that's set to come out right before Christmas. Um, it's like the fifth movie that seems like they've done since she passed. I mean, they, they just did something. Angela Bassett, I think, did something for in on Lifetime. You know, they've, they've done a couple of these movies um, and they flopped, honestly. Uh, is, is Whitney's a legend, don't get me wrong, and, but everybody don't need a biopic. And I think she's one of those people. They've tried to do this several times and they can't, they can't seem to get it right. Um, the girl who's playing her in this movie her name is Naomi Aki. Uh, no disrespect to her. She looks more like Brandy than, than anything. Um, they got Asher, uh, what's this dude? Uh, Asher Anderson, whatever the dude, the dude that plays RZA from Ashton Sanders, the dude that plays RZA on Wu-Tang is Bobby Brown. You already know what, what agenda they're going to push with that. You, you can see that a mile away. Um, but from what I've been told, and I, I never knew anything about this. Allegedly, Whitney Houston was a closeted lesbian. I never heard about this. I'm trying. To, I'm not. I'm trying. I'm. I'm being respectful. Uh, but there's a whole article on this, and in this movie, that's one thing I noticed in that trailer. She's looking back when she's about to do this performance at the Super Bowls, the Bills Cowboys Super Bowl. Every you know, Cold War, all of that. Everybody got all emotional. They they played that and made that a hit record. Just her recording of that performance. When she looks back at the girl, and I'm like, what kind of look was that? Who the, who the hell is this? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I said, I know they're not about to do what I... Oh, no. Oh, wow. And this woman's been deceased for 10 years. 2012. And it wasn't like she died in her will and put in a, you know, a, a, a different type of way and put, oh, yeah, it's okay for you guys to out my business. That's wild. So I'm reading this article and they broke it all down and they're making it seem like it was facts. They even said her mother, Sissy, was the one telling her she should hide it and that she was a tomboy growing up. And the whole night, I'm like, wow, I never knew. I'd never heard about this. There's been other legendary um, singers that have been, you know, rumored to be closeted or whatever, but I never heard anything. I've heard things about Luther and you know, back in the day, people used to say stuff about Prince and all these other, but I never heard anything about Whitney being a uh, closet. I never, not saying it's not true or whatever, but I just think that's kind of crazy uh, to put this out 10 years after she's gone. You know, I, I just, I, I don't know. I think just like when Quincy Jones a few years ago was running around telling, telling old stories from people and what they was doing in the seventies. Like some of these people he was talking about are dead now. Like that's just not cool to me. Uh, same thing with yeah, even Aaron Hernandez. They all oh, they they decided to out him fully, all based off you know just a, 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 allegations. And this man was dead. He was a father. He was a husband. And they just said, "Nope, we're just gonna put." I'm like, "Wow." So it's one thing to put that out there, but they're gonna make a movie and profit off of this. And they got a lot of money. You can see, you could tell, is being backed into this. It's a Christmas movie. And they're going to exploit Whitney's sexuality and dog out Bobby Brown as usual. You see, he got the MC Hammer pants on. You already know what they got to do. Got the gap in his mouth. They're going to make it seem like he was the devil that came into her life and destroyed her. Uh, when it was well-known Jersey girl, she had been doing partying before she met Bobby. But they're going to make it seem like he was the main, you know, he was the devil on her shoulder. And he's still alive. I wonder what Bobby thinks about this. You know? When he's not performing in them tight ass suits, these new edition songs from 40 years ago. What does he think about this? This shit is crazy. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm like, I know they not. I, and the, the daughters, and it's like, who's still around to even approve this in the family? Bobby's, you know, doing his own thing, but he's not attached to the estate. I'm, I would assume the daughter's gone. Bobby, Chris, uh, Christina. It's like, who's approving this? Ah uh, man, and it's called I want to dance with somebody. You do the math, you see the words, you, the way they word it. I want to dance with somebody. Now we know that's the number. That's what that was one of her number one hits. Obviously, some ding bad is gonna say, "Well, yeah, that, yeah." But read into it, motherfucker. I want to dance with somebody, and they're gonna feature. I guarantee you, a big portion of this movie is gonna be about her and that girl. 
Yeah, I don't know. I mean, back in the day, they used to tease it. Color Purple, they teased it with Suge Avery and, and uh, Miss Seeley. In the book, they was full-blown lesbos, but <laughs> all due respect, but in the, in the movie, they just teased the idea. I've been watching that as a kid. I was like, I know she ain't about to kiss Whoopi ugly ass in this tub. But yeah, man, um, this is what they're doing. Uh, comes out December 23rd. Y'all go ahead. Let's see what y'all going to tell me. Who's going to watch it? Maybe I'm about to review it. I don't know. I, I I didn't watch the last couple Whitney movies that they did. I just don't think they do them the right way. And um, some people's story just doesn't need to be told in a cinematic format. I mean, they've been trying to do a Rick James movie for 20 years now. They've been trying to do a, a Red Fox movie. They've been trying to do movies on certain people for a long time. Certain stuff just don't need to be on screen. And uh, Whitney lived a crazy life. And I just don't think you can do it the right way. You're gonna, you're not gonna satisfy everybody, first of all, and you're gonna piss off some people. I know this is gonna bother some people. Uh, she ain't even here, and she didn't give y'all permission to put her business out there, if that is true. You know? So, yeah, let me know what y'all think. Did they cross the line with this one? Uh, I Wanna Dance With Somebody, <laughs> the new Whitney Houston movie, coming to a theater near you.